Kirsty Georgia Harjo Chahochifkados. Hello, my name is Georgia Harjo. I am Muskogee, Choctaw, Seminole, and Cheyenne, born and raised in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, and still here. I really enjoy painting and I also draw and I do beadwork. I also make traditional corn husk dolls, which is something my Muskogee people made, as well as I've started learning how to sew recently. Some of the main influences of my work starting out in art would probably have to be family. When I was younger, I was like really artistic in other things besides from what I do now. I would make little comics with my brother. He would write the stories and I would draw it. So he influenced my creativity and story writing and stuff like that. So he made me start out in artwork actually, and I really enjoyed it as well as my mom always making sure that we have supplies to feel less creatively. So with that, I was able to excel to where I am now. Uh, as well as my family, I would say my culture definitely influences my work as well. When I see things with them about people or like music, words or things like that, it just makes me want to paint it. Before I hadn't known much of my culture, but this last 2019 to now year, I had learned more about me that I hadn't even known before. So that made me want to paint it. You've seen some of my paintings, like the one I entered into the community grant contest. I hadn't really done things like that before, but I really do enjoy doing those now. I would get a lot of influence from color I see around us. Even if like, the drawing I make in the end isn't in color, like say a pretty sunset that could give you feelings of home or loneliness or happiness. And that would make, that would give an idea into my head to make me want to draw that. Or if I heard something off TV, maybe, maybe it was a character being sad or just being like, life is awesome right now. That'd be awesome. And it's, you just want to, put that on a piece of paper. <laughs> it varies based on the kind of work I'm doing, definitely. Like my creative process with making a painting, I actually sit at my art desk and I turn on YouTube and I have started up some native music like Northern Cree or Superman, just something that could get me into the flow really, really inspire me. So I listen to that and then I start out my sketch and I usually start with the circle if there's a person in it. So I draw it out on the paper first, actually, just to get the idea of what I really wanna do and what feelings I wanna put into this painting. And then when I get that done, I put it on the painting and I start. So that's my flow for that. As for other things like beadwork, I definitely have to think about what I wanna do. Like say, if I have a stone here, I want to bead around, I wanna do a pattern on it. And sometimes I wanna make something that someone would just love that bring happiness to them if they aren't feeling good that day or something. Cause it's really been awesome to be able to make things that would make people happier. My mom actually first got it as an ad on Facebook and she told me about it. I was like, that's pretty cool. And then I forgot about it, to be honest. Uh, she had been telling me for a second, you know, you haven't painted in a while. Maybe you'd like to do this. You don't even have to enter it. You can just see what the theme is. I was like, maybe. <laughs> but one night I was laying in bed and I was like, scrolling on Facebook and I got an ad for it actually because I checked out the page. So I went out and checked the application and it looked pretty easy. I was like, you know what? I really should do this because at least got to try. That'd be awesome. I want to do it now. <laughs> After I checked it out, it seemed really interesting and I liked all the different art I'd already seen on the page from Brights Indian Art. So that's how I got gotten involved with it. And Coming from entering that contest, I got second place, which is really awesome. And I've gotten many other opportunities now to get into the art world more in depth, meet other people who do, do other things in other kinds of forms. Like I now can be in, I believe it's called an ambassador for the Native Arts Community Grant Contest. I can still partake in it, but I also can try and get a more further outreach in our community's youth like in Oklahoma City. I think I was the only one from here, but I can try and get that to reach more of our local native artists so that they have more opportunities for them. So I find it pretty awesome and I am really glad for all the opportunities that I've gotten from entering in it. It's really exciting and amazing and I'm just so thankful for it. 